So this is out of Rotherham, England. A Sikh girl who wore a religious knife to class caused parents to take their children out of school. A Sikh schoolgirl brought a kirpan, a small blunt dagger worn by Sikhs as their mark of faith, into school earlier this month. It caused parents to boycott her primary school over safety concerns. The head teacher of Red Scope Primary School in Rotherham, in South Yorkshire, uh, was forced to write to parents and reassure them that kirpans were religious ornaments and not weapons after some refused to bring their children to school over safety concerns. Her parents decided it would be best for her to not wear the kirpan in the future. Uh, well, good call by the parents to put their child be acting like normal kid, like everybody else, rather than, you know, holding on to their religious belief and be like, no, we have to do this. Like, at least there's some sanity over there, right? Absolutely. Well, and her parents also said, you know, all we really wanted from our daughter over here was for her to come to school, make new friends. Um, and if this is going to cause there to be some sort of issue with her doing that, then, you know, she doesn't have to wear it. It'll be fine. So yeah. her parents are fine. What sucked, um, and what's not mentioned right here, but um, what sucked absolutely was on social media, this kind of exploded with a whole bunch of people from South Yorkshire um, stepping up and making some pretty disgusting comments that are, that's actually being investigated as a hate crime in their area. Well, I don't trust the UK for recognizing what's a hate crime. Apparently, uh, <laughs> everything is a hate crime now in the in the UK. Uh, but so, honestly, this is not a safety concern, but I'm still against allowing it. Because if anybody knows anything about, like, you know, see you know symbolism and stuff like that this knife was not a safety concern right the, um, they're not used for violence or anything like that but it still shouldn't be allowed if any if other for consistency right if other kids are not allowed to bring knives even if it's not a safety concern right a lot of, I, I know i know a lot of people are like oh this is ridiculous these people don't know about Sikhism. this is not a safety concern yeah i agree it's not a safety concern but it shouldn't be allowed Unless other kids can bring knives too, right? It should be consistent. It can't be like, this is a rule for everyone unless you have some supernatural forces allowing you to, you know, have different rules. That's bullshit, right? Um, it's just part of, you know, religious privilege. Religious privilege should not be allowed. So I'm, right. I think it shouldn't be allowed, not because of safety concerns. I think it shouldn't be allowed because you don't get to have your own rules because you're religious. If you get to bring a knife, then everybody should br get to bring a knife. Uh, I'm in someone saying that you're very quiet and I'm very loud. Well, I, my volume is to the max. I don't know what else to do. Can I bring mm -hmm. you? Maybe I'll bring your audio lower. Yeah, bring my audio lower at least. So they're not having to suffer with me screaming at them. Okay. I can't bring my audio any higher because I increase it to the very max i don't know what else to do um how is that better maybe hold on maybe i'll fix something else hold on just one second sorry guys sorry 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 levels is this better i'm i, I, I don't know all right let me know if this is any better um let me see what the top comments are emma Okay, yes, we just saying yes. Um, be just You're saying, saying it's like you're whispering. Yeah, well, I fixed it, I think. Didn't is this not fixed now? It might be fixed now. The the chat's a little delayed, sorry. Right, make the audio lower. Armin is so sweet. Oh, thank you. Perfect. No change in audio. Oh, we got a super chat. Oh, hi. Thank you, Nader. Uh help I recently finished the audiobook, Why There Is No God. It's fantastic. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Nana. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, okay, thank you. They're saying it's better. Okay, perfect. Sorry, guys. I don't know what to do. I, I keep fixing it. And All right. Uh, Dominic is saying, I'm going to bring my holy C4 to school because it's blessed with holy water. Okay. Uh, Madison is saying, religion and weapons don't belong in school. Uh, Ricardo is saying religious knife. Yeah, sure. Knock yourself out as long as I'm allowed to bring my atheist Glock. <laughs> okay. uh, religion causing unnecessary problems around the fucking world. 
Um, Pamela is saying, for the most part, you don't have to worry about six. Yeah, but the thing is that even if it's even if you don't have to worry about six, if you allow religious privilege to one religion, then you have to allow religious privilege to all religions. You shouldn't. We shouldn't. Even if even if it's the most peaceful lovey dovey rainbow and butterfly religion in the world and they say we want to be allowed to not wear helmets i was like well let's let these people not wear helmets well now every religion gets to have religious privilege because you set up a precedent for it no bullshit you don't get to you have to follow the rules your made up fairy tales doesn't excuse that atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.